Well, obviously we let her go. She tried to control the world. Fig! A few days later. Our summoning powers came back too. Kinda sad Sabbaths are off the table though. And the Mayo came back as well. I wonder if it's because the Axis fell. Who knows? Eh, you got a point about the Axis. But what about the Municipal Tower? After all that's happened, I'm surprised none of it's made the news. Well, that's because it's being kept under wraps, right? Seems like Yadagarasu is doing a good job of keeping eyewitness accounts under control, too. Phantom doesn't seem to want to stand out either. They've got their hands full with covering everything up on their end. What is Ringo up to, though? <laughs> At least the two of them can agree on keeping out of sight. Then again, even if it all went public, I doubt anyone would actually believe any of it. Singularities occur outside the public eye. I think Ringo said something like that. Right, Ringo? Hmm? She's been like this the whole time. You can't really blame her. Not after what happened to Fig. <sighs> oh yeah, what's up with the Covenants? Yadagarasu doesn't seem to have any information on that. Same goes for Phantom. They've been scrambling to find them, but it's almost as if they've disappeared. I wish the mayor would disappear. Three tubs? Like three big jars of it? Come on. So they disappeared. That or someone else out there's got them. Not like there's any way to find out. Makes me wonder. Is the fighting ever going to end? Well, a fight's not over so long as there's still someone to fight, right? Anyhow, I'd love to stay and hang, but I gotta head out. Ash is waiting for me. It's a shame your summoning days are behind you. The Phantom Society would have welcomed you any time. Hey, Melody, don't be trying to beat us to the punch. Give me a break, guys. It's kind of you, but I'm gonna focus on patching things up with Ash for now. I've got my own battles to fight. And if you two start killing each other, do me a favor and leave me out of it. You won't catch me being a mediator, that's for damn sure. See you around, Ringo. Was one hell of a bumpy ride. But I'm glad I stayed on. Hmm. See ya. You'd think with someone with such long legs, you'd be able to walk faster. What's wrong, Ringo? Are you lonely or something? <laughs> You're acting like a lost little girl. Either that or she's come up with a new recipe! Huh? No, I'm not lonely. Oh no? Alright, I guess I'll be going too then. 
Arrow, no more sticking your nose in Phantom's business, all right? Don't think I need to tell you why. Believe me, I'm with you. Goodbye, Ringo. So long, Melody. I should probably head out myself. Thanks for everything. After Kaburagi, Dr. Mangetsu, Raven. I probably would have lost it a long time ago if not for you. Hmm. If you ever need anything, just call. I'll be there. I need a new recipe book. And that's not on Yadagarasu's behalf. I mean that as a friend. Preferably a recipe book that deals with an excessive amount of mayo. Yeah. <sighs> See ya. Figure that's my cue to leave. Now I wonder what the kids will be hungry for. Mayo. After the battle at the Municipal Tower, I was the only piece of Ion that had survived. The only piece that was left. Fig and the rest of Ion ended up disappearing once all was said and done. I watched them fade away into the night wind. All that remained was their core data, twinkling away as if it were nothing more than Christmas lights. I haven't set foot in the Axis since then. It's actually kind of hard. Now that flam has gone. And besides, even with the core data, I'm not a true agent of Ion anymore. My body's been optimized to function as a human. I can't restore Ion by myself. I've more or less lost my identity with Ion at this point, but I'm not all that human either. Gotta say... Feels like I'm stuck in some kind of limbo. Still, in spite of all that, I've been given something special. And if humanity continues to grow as they have, I believe Ion will return someday. And when the time comes, it'll be my job to tell them just how incredible humans really are. How they're Infinitely foolish, yet beautiful, all the same. That's why I'm gonna make the most of my time here caught in this qualia prison. Just like they do. At least until that day. Until that day, I see Fig again. She's in denial. She's in denial. Was that it then? I see. There's the credits. Ending's kinda... Okay. That ended then. Where was God in this whole thing? Was I on God, essentially? We needed to defeat God. That's how SMT works. That's how RPGs work. It's usually like we need to now fight God. I suppose... Fig did become a godlike being. That sort of meant, makes sense, really. Who was Nemisa? Like, we know Nana, but who was Nemisa? Nemisa's heart? There's two S's. 
I'm not entirely sure how that will work there. But there's two S's. But, so there we go. That was Soul Hackers 2. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. That was the ending. We're done. We'll just let the credits play out. See if there's maybe a secret ending or something like that. Probably won't be though. So that will probably be me signing off then. We'll see you in the future wherever, whenever. Todd off for now. Todd off for now.